What adventures have you taken? What trails have you explored? What mysteries have you seen? I guess the big question is, how do you remember? Hey y'all, Dan here. Thanks for joining me. You know, these are the questions that I've been asking myself. I've seen a lot of amazing trails and sights and sounds and smells and uh, I think that's one of the things that I just love about getting out on the trail. Maybe that's what brings you out too. Maybe that's what brings you to watch others. And we try to share with you our experiences out here. That's what brings us in to what this video is going to be about. We're going to dive into the world of backpacking photography and videos. I'm just doing this so you can sort of look behind my world and get on the other side of the camera. Chase Jarvis once said that the best camera is the one that's with you. Now, today's smartphones have excellent cameras in them, so if that's what you have, don't hesitate to use it. And then you can put it on a stick and use it for selfies as well as your views. This is some of the equipment that I use. Each of these tools provide me a different perspective and a different way that I can try to portray what I'm seeing. Of course, my smartphone works great. And then I use the DJI Osmo Action 3. I started using that about a year ago. This little camera is quite amazing. It's compact, it's rugged. DJI has a, a great customer service. In fact, I dropped this camera, shattered the back screen, reported it. Before I got home from that hiking adventure, the replacement camera was in the mail waiting for me. And one of the things I like about it is right here, this USB-C port on the side allows you to take a USB-C to TRS adapter and plug that into my external wireless mics and gives me great audio as well as video. My little Sony ZV-E10 camera is lightweight, uh, very compact, and with this, this lens, this is the Sigma 16 millimeter lens, that's what I use both for my live streams as well as photography and video in the field. Uh, it has an f1.4 aperture, allows a lot of light to come in, and is great for night photography, for astrophotography and videography. Excellent lens with this great little camera. And then here is the kit lens that comes with it. This little small lens is, is very versatile. It's a 16 to 50 millimeter zoom, uh, very quiet as it works. Not a high quality lens, but it does really well in the field and, and not being very expensive, I don't worry about it so much. And then finally, to reach out and really get photos to that close up look, whether it's birds or nature photography, animal photography or videography, or it's um, just getting these long range shots. This lens, again, by Sony, but it's not uh, one of the higher quality lenses. It works well though for me. And then finally to get these amazing aerial videos, my little DJI Mini 3 Pro drone is an amazing little drone. Has great obstacle avoidance on the front, the back and the bottom. Doesn't have obstacle avoidance on the sides or on the top. So if you're flying sideways or as you're lifting up, you do need to be aware of your surroundings so that you don't crash it. But the obstacle avoidance on the front, the back and the bottom are amazing. It will track me, it will go around obstacles, and then it comes with its own controller, has a very bright screen. The controller works very well, and having a dedicated controller, I don't have to use my phone, which when it gets hot, it dims down on, on the screen, and it's very hard to see. This is my kit. Whatever you have, go ahead and use it. Composition is the key 
it's the way you tell your story through video or through photos and in order to record and to preserve your experiences out on the trail think about what story you're wanting to tell and often the trail will reveal its own surprises You might shoot a whole sequence and not even realize there's a treasure. That you've captured. Until you get it back and start looking at it. All these buzzards were flying. But then out of the forest, flying low, came a bald eagle. One of my biggest challenges on the trail is to sort of convey a sense of scale, the depth, the emotions. In storytelling, we learn to try to use leading lines, something that will capture your attention, something that will begin to share the unveiling of the story. Early morning hours and late evening hours, those are known as the golden hours. And uh, your videos and photos during those times are just often like magic. These trails lead us to some breathtaking places. And uh, while we, we want to get and capture the pictures and the videos, it's important also to, to respect nature. Still that leave no trace that we, we try to, to live by uh, applies when taking pictures and videos as well. So how do I do that? Well, a lot of it is uh, the lenses that I use. Now, Depending on how long the trail is and what I'm trying to do, I'll, uh, I'll bring my little Sony camera because it has interchangeable lenses. And I have a couple of zoom lenses that I can put on it. Uh, these are optical zooms. They do so much better than, your, than the electronic zooms that are in a lot of cameras, including your, your cell phones. But um, if, if that's what you got, then you can use that too. You can zoom, what I've found is, you know, about 1.5 on a uh, digital zoom is about the max before you start getting a lot of distortion. But with the optical zoom, you can zoom as far as that lens will let you reach. So take advantage of it. It'll give you the feeling of being much closer, give you the details that you're looking for without... Uh, putting yourself at risk or damaging the nature that's around you. Okay, so there you have it. You know, mastering the art of, of backpacking, hiking videos and photography uh, 
takes time and patience. It's an incredible way to document and share your hiking experiences with others. But remember, it's not just the technicalities of it. It's about preserving memories, inspiring others to embark on their journeys. So grab your gear, hit the trails, and let your creativity soar. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Why don't you check out this video right here for more hiking adventures. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay on the path. God bless you.